The colors will be presented by the color guards of our own JROTC. Please stand for the presentation of the colors for our national anthem, followed by our state song, Hawaii Ponoi. Thank you for your attention, your respect, and your silence as we honor America and Hawaii. You may be seated.
to give our opening convocation prayer, I'd like to introduce Chaplain Josh Hayashi. Thank you, Dr. Scott. Trustees, principals, faculty, staff, all of our students, and especially to our senior class. <laughs> oh, there you go. Today is the beginning of a new chapter in your story. We, all of us, are heroes or heroines in this next chapter of our life. So as we begin our journey, we begin by asking for courage and for help along the way. So let us pray. Epulekako. Dear God, today we turn the page on the story of our lives. In this, you know us and love us all, whether we are in the second grade or in the 12th. You have brought each of us to this very moment in ways and journeys as unique as each one of us individually. So we acknowledge and ask for your blessings on a new year. We know there will be challenges ahead and battles to face. There will be victories won and lessons learned. So keep us ready and humble and open our hearts to change and the growth that comes through change. In all these things we ask in your holy name. Amen. I want to extend my heartfelt welcome and warm aloha to the students, faculty, and staff who are new to Punahou this year. We are so pleased that you are joining our community. And just as the new spring replenishes itself, your contributions and your stories will be a source of renewal and inspiration for us this year. Last year, we opened the first phase of the grades two through five Kosasa community that is now home to our second and third grade students. And as you can see, construction is underway for the second phase during the next two years. The entire grades two through five community is built to the highest level of green design and architecture, producing all of its energy needs through renewable energy sources. As Punahou's first net zero energy building, the grades two through five com community is setting a new standard for the rest of the school in the years to come. I want to welcome back to school all of our returning students. And during the next two days before the long weekend, I urge you to introduce yourself to a classmate who is new to Punahou this year. You may be, in fact, greeting a lifelong friend. And I want to extend a special welcome back to their senior year, the talented, accomplished, colorful, diverse class of 2018. We look forward to your continued accomplishment and also to your leadership and the tone that we know you're going to set for the rest of the year. Each of us is the beneficiary of those who came before us, former students and teachers, former school leaders and trustees, who since 1841 have helped to build one of the finest schools in the world. Each of us takes our place in Punahou's history, not only just to take advantage of the unparalleled opportunities here, but also to leave Punahou a better place for those who will follow us. We are grateful to the current trustees who have given generously of their time, their talent, and their resources to provide stewardship that sustains Punahou's excellence, but also challenges us to keep innovating and improving. Before I introduce the board chair who will speak to you, I'd like to introduce three trustees who are present this morning. They're seated in the first row um, under the tent. Um, Mrs. Kitty Wo, please stand and raise your hand. <laughs> Dr. Greg Yim. And Ms. Debbie Berger. Mahalo. So to greet you on behalf of the Board of Trustees, it's my honor to introduce the chair of the board. He is a 1972 Punahou graduate. He's married to a Punahou classmate. He is the father of three Punahou graduates. And he is the son of a former Punahou Middle School science teacher, the chairman of the Board of Trustees, Mr. Ethan Abbott.
Welcome all to the 2017-2018 school year. On behalf of all the trustees, we have been awaiting your arrival. The campus is ready, the school calendar has been set, and you can now continue to write your own story. Write your story well, but edit often. Pause along the way to enjoy your journey through this tremendous school called Punahou. As the only person who can write your story is you. Congratulations, seniors, the class of 2018. Enjoy your year, it will pass by quickly. This is your year, and may all your stories be bestsellers with adventures to tell, lessons you have learned, and tales of good deeds to be remembered. Have a great year, everybody. It's my pleasure now to introduce the two school principals, Dr. Paris Priori Kim and Dr. Emily McCarran. Our theme for this school year is Every Life Tells a Story. Stories are something that are very familiar to all of us, even since we were very small. We remember stories that our parents read to us or stories that our families tell about our shared history. Throughout the year, we will have lots of opportunities as a community to tell and share and evoke stories. Today we want to share a little about the notion of the danger of a single story a concept coined by the Nigerian author Chimamanda Adichie in a famous TED Talk. The idea is that with people, there is a risk that we might begin to imagine a story about someone just by looking at them or knowing just a little bit about them. For example, you might look at us. From the outside, we might not look like we have much in common. We've worked in education for almost exactly the same amount of time and we share so many of the same values. We laugh at the same jokes, and we sometimes have the same thought at the exact same time. We feel so fortunate to have been placed in our roles together as principals. If as kids we had been left to our own devices, there's a very real risk that we never would have found out how much we have in common because of the risk of, a, of the danger of a single story. In school, Dr. PK was a dancer. I was a soccer player and a lacrosse player and a skier, and I did not make time to hang out with dancers. If I had been in class with Dr. PK, honestly, I would have been annoyed at how often she uses long SAT words. Now, though, she actually teaches me vocabulary every day, and I love listening to her talk. I admire and adore that she gets up and dances in all sorts of circumstances. As a three-sport athlete, Dr. McCarran would have intimidated the heck out of me. I wouldn't have been able to meet her eyes, much less speak to her. But now, I can't wait for every chance I have to hang out with her and talk with her. She's more of a bookworm than I am and tells me what to read all the time, and I'm so grateful. When you start out as a little kid in school, you don't choose your friends because of what they look like or how they talk or how big or small they are. In fact, our youngest schoolmates probably don't think too much about the ways in which they're different, but they seem to have the special ability to see the ways in which they are the same, in spite of appearances. Somewhere along the line, as we grow up, we can slip into the habit of not looking beyond the surface. We begin to rely on guesses and assumptions about each other based only on what we can see in a glance. Seniors. <laughs> Next year, this will be clear to you. When you're in college or on a gap year, either here in Hawaii or away from here, people will make some leaps about you based on where you grew up. Oh, you're from Hawaii. Do you surf? Do you live in a grass shack? You may surf, but I don't think many of you live in grass shacks. No matter what, you will have to battle the fact that people will think they know you because they have a single story about people from Hawaii. What you do know about your, what do you know about your peers? What do you know about the adults on campus? 
Once I saw a student in a grocery store and she asked, surprise, hey, you shop here? I said, yeah, of course I do. She assumed that all I did was teach all day and maybe even sleep in my classroom. She admitted that it hadn't occurred to her that I had a life outside of the classroom. She had only thought of me as a teacher, not a full human who needs to eat and go to the grocery store. So I ask you, how much do you know about the adults that are here devoting their lives to caring for you every day? The important thing that we want to convey is a hope that you will never assume that you know someone based on just a couple of details. We hope that this year's theme, Every Life is a Story, invites all of you to seek and see and appreciate the richness in all of our stories. Each of us contains multitudes of facets. Each of us is vastly more complex than can be understood through a single story. To do this, you need to ask questions. You need to wonder about the details in people's stories in this community. So while you are busy writing the story of you, make sure that you are also spending time learning the deep, interesting, and surprising stories of others. Thank you. It's now our shared honor to welcome to the stage the president of the senior class of 2018, Noah Schachtel. Thank you, Dr. McCarran, Dr. Scott, esteemed faculty, distinguished trustees, and honored guests. I am privileged to represent the graduating class of 2018. Surely, one of the greatest groups to ever grace the halls of this prestigious institution. <laughs> I want to congratulate everyone on making it to another action-packed year at Punahou. As we begin our very first day of school, I'm sure many of you are looking ahead, wondering who's in your classes, how cool are your teachers, and where you're going to hang out in between classes or a million other details about the days, weeks, and months in front of you. Or your mind may still be lingering on your summer, thinking about sleeping late, hanging out at the beach, or playing Xbox at 3 AM with no cares in the world. But I suggest that we all pause just for a moment. Take a breath of fresh air. Feel the energy deep within Ka Puna Ho. We are here at the beginning of this year's incredible endeavor in this wonderful place that supports us and encourages us to realize our dreams and be the best that we can possibly be. I remember my first convocation in sixth grade when senior years seemed so very far away. But class of 2018, Here we are. Let's cherish the last moments we have together and make the most of this year. Underclassmen and women, I encourage you to savor every day, no matter how challenging it may be. You're creating priceless memories each and every day that will last forever. A wise man once said, you better lose yourself in the music, in the moment, you own it, and you better never let it go. Let's have a great year, Punahou. Thank you. Now I welcome you all to stand together and sing Oahua.
Pollock to the band and our cheerleaders. It's my honor to declare the new school year open and we are dismissed. Mahalo. Thanks, Ben. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.